Okay. Uh, welcome everybody to Mindfulness Monday. Uh, if you do have a phone, please put it on uh, silent. Uh, we are lucky enough to have Chris Selman, a certified mindfulness facilitator, uh, lead us through this practice. Uh, so uh, go ahead, Chris. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Jason and Jenny. Maybe we will um, sort out the issues with audio and uh, maybe today we are just practicing with equanimity of technology or techwanimity, as we say sometimes. Thanks, Yvonne, for letting me know that um, you can hear me on the Zoom. So welcome. And um, yeah, like Jason said, if you have um, phone or um, if you're at your desk and you have a lot of things on your desk, I suggest pushing them maybe off to the side a little ways. Um, just doing whatever you can to reduce the distractions um, in the immediate area. Knowing that mindfulness practice can happen anytime, anywhere. We do not need perfect silence or perfect stillness um, to practice. And sometimes that can be one of the most helpful. Those can be helpful circumstances. Um, but also in the midst of busyness, chaos, and noise, it is possible um, to practice mindfulness. Um, here's how this usually goes. I will talk for a little bit, offer some instructions and suggestions. And um, please do remember that any of my instructions are just suggestions. If you find that it's not working for you, feel free to let that go. Um, this experience is for you and um, you're in control of it. And I will talk, as I said, and then I'll talk a little less and a little less, and then we'll be in silence together for a while. And then I will um, bring us back out of the out of the practice. That's generally how it goes. The definition of mindfulness, that I generally use it is that it is a practice of paying attention to our present moment experience with an attitude of curiosity, openness, and a willingness simply to be with things as they are. So we're observers of the truth of our own experience and um, our attention is a valuable and precious thing, and it is a great gift to offer our attention uh, to just what's happening here and now. And for those who are uh, at home um, in maybe an office chair or in your office or on a cushion, um, I usually recommend uh, an up, upright, alert yet relaxed position is what we're aiming for. Sitting, walking, standing, and lying down are all classical meditation postures. And I know folks in the planetarium are often reclining in their chairs. Um, but if I wasn't in a recliner, um, I would be as much as possible sitting with my feet on the floor and uh, with a straight spine, shoulders, uh, and head in alignment, little slight bit of energy in the low back, and it can help sometimes to um, tilt the chin downwards a little bit to just ease strain on the neck. And if you're reclining in the chair, um, you know, making whatever adjustments that you need, to become comfortable. You can keep your um, hands on the resting on the arms of the chair or fold it over in your lap or your stomach. And knowing that this is a posture of um, relaxed attention and that we are inviting in stillness, but we're not gripping our posture in any way. Um, we're not tying ourselves 
uh, tying ourselves down or stiffening. We want kind of a, a little bit of a fluid fluidity to our posture. If there are places in the body where you tend to hold tension, uh, just kind of scan through the body and, you know, maybe it's your jaw or your neck or shoulders. Taking your mind to those places where you tend to hold tension. And just inviting them to soften and relax. Noticing all the points at which your body is supported by the chair, by the armrests, the floor between beneath your feet. And then taking two or three long, slow, deep, gentle breaths. in through the nose and out through the mouth or whatever is accessible to you today. Sometimes the exhale comes with a sigh or a yawn. <sighs> As the body recognizes that we are safe that there's nothing we need to jump up and do right now. Bringing in some extra oxygen, maybe for the first time today, breathing to the full lung capacity, whatever that is right now. Maybe breathing down into the belly rather than staying up at the chest breathing shallow. And so once you've taken those long, slow, deep breaths and invited the body to relax, maybe make any adjustments that you need to make to be just 2% more comfortable. And you can allow the breath to return to its natural pace and rhythm. There are many, many different mindfulness practices, many ways to meditate. Some of them involve controlling the breath in a particular way, but this one does not. Or this is just a practice of noticing. You might notice where in the body is it easiest to find the breath, whether that's the nose, the belly, or the chest. inviting the mind to turn toward the sensations of breathing in the body. Perhaps it's the coolness of the air coming in through the nostrils and the warmth of the exhale on the upper lip. Maybe it's in the expansion and contraction of the rib cage. Or the rise and fall of the belly.
it is usually helpful to offer the mind an anchor the way a boat has an anchor to keep it from drifting away. The mind can uh, use the anchor, use the breath as an anchor to stay here in the present moment. And so like you would invite a friend to sit down and rest in a chair, you invite the mind to attend to wherever it is easiest to notice the breath in the body. And with that attitude of curiosity and openness, see how it is to be breathing in this body in this moment. You could focus on the sensations that I mentioned. You could focus on the qualities of the breath. Is it long or short? Slow or fast? Deep or shallow? Choppy or smooth? Coarse or fine? Like coarse salt or fine salt. And approaching this with that curiosity and that experimental attitude inviting the mind to see what it is like, what is the breath like today. And if you notice, after one breath, 10 breaths, many breaths, 
you notice that the mind has wandered away from the breath, away from this moment, and into some future story about what happens later today, all the things you need to do tomorrow or the next day. Or perhaps the mind has gone backwards into the past, thinking about how something happened, how it should have happened differently, what you'll do next time. Simply notice that and remember that is part of the practice. The noticing and welcoming the mind back. With as much kindness and friendliness as you can find, or curiosity. Oh, interesting, I was thinking about that again. It's that compassion or acceptance um, that helps us cultivate the equanimity, patience, um, an easeful way of moving through everyday experiences. Sometimes it's not a thought that has taken you away, but it's a sound, something you hear inside or outside of the room. I am in the middle of packing for a move and I can hear someone in the other room rolling tape over a box. So if you're distracted by a sound, allow the mind to just rest with that sound for a minute without making a story about what it means, but simply noticing it purely as a sound. And then once the mind tires of that or the sound changes, you can return your focus to the breath Invite the mind to just sit back down again, the way you would be inviting a friend to sit next to you. Returning to sensation of the breath in the body. Or a curiosity about the quality of breathing. And this may happen many, many times during a mindfulness practice session. And that is perfectly okay.
And after your next exhale, I invite you to let go of the focus on the breath. and shift uh, to those same places earlier in the body that we uh, looked at for any tension, tightness, the jaw, the neck, shoulders, in the low back, wherever it is that you tend to hold tension and tightness and see if anything has changed in the last few minutes. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. You could simply notice if there's been any changes. Perhaps even in the mind itself. Does it seem any quieter than it was when you first sat down? what has changed by inviting in the stillness. And when you're ready, you can wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe give your shoulders a little shrug, stretch in any way that feels good and nourishing to the body. And return your awareness back to the room around you. And perhaps offer yourself a bit of appreciation for pausing in the middle of a busy day to invite in this attention to the moment, to invite in this stillness and quiet that hopefully in some way has nourished you and will in turn allow you to go out into the world and maybe bring a little bit of it to those you meet. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Thank you very much, Carissa. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for attending Mindfulness Monday. Uh, once again, we will be doing this again next week at the same time. So please come and join us. Uh, everybody on Zoom, thank you very much for joining. Uh, I already saw that you put names down. So thank you very much, Martha and Yvonne. Uh, and Carissa, we will see you next week. Sounds great. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good week. All right. Bye-bye.